Hi guys. Welcome to our place value for 158. 158. Okay. Let's get started. How many hundreds do we need? One. One group of 100. How many tens do we need? Five. One, two, three, four, five groups of 10. How many ones do we need today? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. We're getting close there. We may be changing numbers here shortly, huh? All right. So we have one group of 100, five groups of 10, and eight units or ones. Let's count this together. We're adding up as we go. 100, now we skip count by tens, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 151, 152, 153, 154, 155, 156, 157, 158. Good job, guys. Okay, while I do our stamping, you guys use your paper base tens to make 158. So first we're going to use our hundreds. One hundred. Then I need tens. This is yours. How many tens do we need? Five, you're right. One, two, three, four, five groups of 10. Now how many ones do we need? How many of your ones are you using? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys are so smart. Let's write down our numbers. One hundred. Five tens equals 50, you're right. And eight ones equals eight. 158. I'm going to write this down in expanded form. So we start with our 100s. We need one group of 100, 100, plus 50, plus 8, 100 plus 50, is 150, very good. 150 plus eight equals 158. We're using these numbers to replace these zeros. Good 
because our zeros are just placeholders when we're using them.